truck stop by Ann Rockwell. Early each morning, the sun isn't up. When we get busy at our truck stop, mom and dad and me. Our truck stop is right beside the main highway heading north and south. Every morning, I squeeze the orange juice. Dad cuts fries, sausages, and bacon while mom starts up the coffee. Soon, Uncle Marty turns on the lights in the service garage. Another good morning has come. I love it when the trucks start rolling in. Their lights are bright in the dim, dark morning. I know each and every one of the regulars that comes to our truck stop. I love how they come rumbling their wheels and with air brakes whooshing. I love how the smell of diesel fills the air. 18 Wheeler is the first to arrive. Sam, his driver, asks Uncle Marty to check all 18 tires. Good morning, he says to me. One coffee and bacon and eggs over easy, says mom. You bet, says Sam. Milk tank and Macy are next. The big silver tank glows in the early pink dawn. One coffee and donuts coming up, I call, even before Macy sits down at the counter. Diligent Dan's moving van is next. The usual, asks mom. You bet, sausage and pancakes, says Dan, with plenty of syrup, he adds. Where's Green Gus, asks 18-wheeler Sam. Yes, where's Green Gus, asks AC and Dan. Green Gus is the old green pickup that rattles and clanks as it rolls, but always gets there. Green Gus is always carting something here or there. But where is Green Gus this morning? No one has seen Green Gus today. Not heading north, not heading south. Flatbed pulls into the stop with lots of loud cranking and whooshing carrying digger to wherever needs digging. Orange juice, black coffee, and a blueberry muffin are what Flatbed's driver always wants. Now our stop is filled with the good smells of coffee brewing, bacon frying, eggs sizzling sunny side up or over easy. It's filled with the good sounds of morning too. Hard working friends talking before they hit the road again, some heading north, some heading south. Pete and Priscilla's tow truck comes next. Have you seen Green Gus? Everyone asks, but Pete and Priscilla say no. Suddenly, Big Yellow Bus is here. Big Yellow Bus has come for me as it always does each weekday morning at the very same time. I pick up my backpack and run to the bus. It's time for me to go to school. On the old blacktop road through the woods, I suddenly see Green Gus parked all alone on the side of the road with a very sad driver. Please call the truck stop to say I found Green Gus, I ask the bus driver, and that's what she does. Pete and Priscilla's tow truck is on the way. They'll tow Green Gus to our truck stop where Uncle Marty will see what's wrong and fix Green Gus. And the driver will have bacon and eggs sunny side up. Then all the trucks can go on their way again, including Green Gus. Tomorrow I'll say good morning again when they come to our truck stop by the side of the highway where the big road heads north and south.